Join me for a bike riding tour of Mount Aso, the largest active volcano in Japan. We took the 8am train from Oita Station to Aso Station. Got there at 10am. If you go on the weekend, take the Aso Boy. It has a playground, a cafe, and is connected with the JR Rail Pass. The market next door had fresh delivery of Mount Aso milk. It is the creamiest. The Cuddly Dominion is a 15 minute walk from the station. They do helicopter rides over Mount Aso here. You can go into the Kababara's cage and pay 2 yen for a cup of carrots. He didn't want to be padded at all. We met our tour guide Joe at the station at 1pm. In the car park he got us to practice using an e-bike. Helmets and gloves are provided. They recommend long sleeves, long pants and comfortable footwear. If you are bathing in hot springs, bring a change of clothes. One of the most famous local specialties in Aso is Akushi beef. Many restaurants in Aso feature Akushi beef on their menu. The meat is known to have a sweeter taste and less gamey than Wagyu beef. In order to produce Akushi beef, there needs to be the sufficient grass for the cows to graze on. The people of Aso burn fields allowing new grassland to grow. It is called Noyaki and takes place from mid-February to the end of March. The e-bikes make the trip so easy and Joe had many facts about the area as he has lived here a long time and he was a former captain of the rescue team in Komamoto Prefecture. His English is great. There are buses like this one you can take from the station up to the volcano, but you won't get to see all of what Mount Aso has to offer. After an hour or more of cycling through the beautiful grasslands, we arrived at the top of Mount Aso Nakadaka Crater, about 1,200 meters above sea level. You don't see lava, but you will smell the sulfur and the steam in the crater. The warning sign turned to green to warn asthmatics to be careful as the smoke began to get bigger. Aso last erupted in 2021, which makes being there more thrilling. We are riding back down now. When Joe turns off the path, we are taken into the grass. Remember, Joe has special permission for the private tour, so if you want to have a real close-up of the Cauldra area, you should book an exclusive tour with him. He let us ride around and sent me pictures with Mount Aso Volcano behind me. We also stopped at the Mount Aso Museum. It shows you the scale of Mount Aso compared to other large active volcanoes in the world. Across the road is the famous Wild Horse Lake, but we didn't have time to see it as we were trying to catch a train back to Oaita. In the summer, the volcanic cone is covered in a blanket of green grass. It is often referred to as the cutest volcano in Japan. We took a train which stopped at a cute town. We waited an hour there for the Bipu City train. It was the best day of the whole trip. I booked this tour through Viata, and if you're wanting a moment you'll remember forever on your Japan trip, then book an ebook tour with Joe. Click on the next video where I take you on a day trip around Osaka.